Welcome back guys, I got a video for you here, it's more on information versus a repair video or a diagnostic video or an engineering video. So if you have a Volkswagen vehicle, this could be of help to you. Now let me go uh, get through my scenario so to help you out because you very well may run into this yourself. Okay, if you followed any of my videos in the past, you saw where I did a, a video series on ignition wiring bundle harness that got burnt and also the ignition switch was bad too. Okay, so we did that repair, everything was great. Everything went fine. And also in the process of that video, I went in and changed some relays out. Fuel pump relay, load reduction relay, and I did that versing, you know, where uh, you know, the contacts uh, being old, 14-year-old vehicle, okay, while I'm there, let's just change the relays out, they're not that expensive. Okay, everything is great. Okay, next video series, we go to the driver door lock module. So I went through that series about how it works and the switches and everything. So we put in the driver door lock module. Everything works great. You open the door, the light comes on, puddle light, dome light. Uh, the car will not arm if the door is open. All functions works great. Okay, so now, the next day, and I didn't even bother to crank the engine up at that time. I just, it was getting late at night, so the next day I go out there and I try to crank it up. I get in there, have the door open, and the car will not crank up. It'll sit there, crank, 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 it backfire a little bit, sputter. Sounds like it's going to crank, but it doesn't. All right, so I've said to hell with this crap. So now, about two days pass, I go back out to crank it up. Now, this time the door, the driver door is shut, cranks right up. I haven't put it together yet about the driver door being open and closed, making the engine run. I haven't connected it yet. So then when I go back out the next time to crank the engine up, it cranks up and this time the driver door is shut. Okay, so I said, damn, let me see what's going on here. This all makes sense. So I get out and open the driver door, and at that point, that's when the engine cut off. Now I make the connection. Okay, so, and also at the same time, what happens when I open the driver door? The check engine light comes on. So here are some of the codes. You're going to run into this one of these days probably. So you look at your codes. I look at my codes, I have fuel injector problems on every cylinder. You can see that here's fuel injector cylinder one, short to ground. Got number three, number five, six, all the way down. Here's a problem with the evap purge valve, short to ground. Leak detection pump, short to ground. Secondary air pump relay, short to ground. So you see all of these problems, oxygen sensor heater, short to ground. All right, go through the others. Go through the code, you look. Okay, now keep, keep, in it, keep in mind these here codes right here. That's gonna be the key to what's going on here. You look down here, <clears throat> you don't see anything of interest. You get to the last thing, you come down, and you look right here, and here's a code that says internal central locking switch, driver's side. All right, I put a driver door lock module in there. Now, it's not a factory OEM Volkswagen part, it's a Dolman part, so I put that in there. But, this is only one switch. Now, when the door opens and closes, it's only one switch for that function. Now, this is not making sense to me. Everything is working. My dome light's working, my puddle light's working. It doesn't arm when the door's open, so the car knows when the door is open and closed. So, why is it bringing me this problem? So, where would you start? Would you go back and look at the driver door lock module or something else? So, I go back. I don't want to start here with the driver door lock module, so I'm going back. What is, what is the issue with all of this right here? Okay, that right there I'm looking at. Well, if I look at the diagrams, <clears throat> and I'm not going to show you the diagrams. I'm trying to keep this video just a little bit short. But all of this here, B plus voltage, is what they're looking at. That's the B plus voltage is a problem. The B plus voltage for all of these here circuits is fed through the fuel pump relay contact. So I'm thinking, well I did change those relays out. I did change that fuel pump relay. However, this fuel pump relay was not a Volkswagen OEM relay, right? So I'm using an aftermarket relay. It works fine before I worked on the driver door lock module. Once I put the driver door lock module in, now I got this problem when the door opens. So 
This fuel pump relay, whatever is inside, is not exactly the same thing as a Volkswagen or a relay, okay? <clears throat> so, I had the old relays, so I dropped the panel down, I put in the old fuel pump relay, started it up, opened the car door, and boom, everything works. So anyway guys, if you guys run into that problem, uh, you may run into a, a place, uh, uh, you may run into where you buy a car. Okay, maybe the driver door lock module doesn't work. Maybe the guy changed the fuel pump relay. He put an aftermarket in there. Your car's running fine. You go in and put a driver door lock module in. And now when you open your, your driver door, now the engine's going to shut off. And you're going to get all these codes. So, the point of this story is that if you're going to change that fuel pump relay, be sure you get a VW part, not an aftermarket. So anyway guys, you take care. Hopefully that'll be some useful information to some of you guys out there in case you run into that.